GVL Narasimha Rao of the BJP, your government has never looked worse. Yati Noza, also of the BJP senior advocate, had run out of arguments yesterday. Let's see if he has any left today. Salman Sos of the Congress party, Kumar Ketkar, senior journalist, General B.S. Jaswal is appalled at what Ved Pratap Vedic has done. We all are, sir. Madhukar Jaitley is an advisor to the government of UP from the Samajwadi party. And Maruf Raza joins us from London. Let's begin, gentlemen. Mr. Narasimha Rao, can you tell us the name of the news channel or newspaper that Ved Pratap Vedic was interviewing what he says Hafiz Said for? I think the real issue is... No, no, can um, you tell me the name of the so news channel or newspaper no, or I, magazine I, or publication that Ved Pratap Vedic was interviewing Hafiz Said for? Because you have used that line in our defense in parliament and across the entire country saying he's doing it as a journalist. Whereas he goes there and flaunts connection. Salman Sos a free. It is open debate. You are free to come in. Do you know the name of the yeah, channel or newspaper that I he's interviewing up his side for? Let me, let me answer this question. You are keeping the entire focus on Mr. Uh, Ved Prakash Vedic. I'm not I using the larger the, I, question. I, I, I am asking the entire you. delegation. No, please, please, no, no. Please, please listen to me. This is the larger, larger question is all the, this, the, the institute which has called the delegation from India has an ISI domination. And this has one of the board of governors, Mr. Manishan Karayar is one of the board of governors. This has two Congress members in the delegation. There is no representation of the BJP or NDA in this group. And this is a hate brigade, hate Modi brigade. I can tell you of the 13, 14 members, I don't want to, I don't wish to take names. Take the names. I have put it out on my Twitter. Take the names. Let Who are the names? read and make their own conclusions. Who so are these people who no, have traveled on what you call is an ISI sponsored Let's, initiative? How do you know no, it's an ISI sponsored initiative? They, this is, please, for God's sake, please discuss what is this regional peace institute. This has as co-chairman, ex-ISI chief, who is a co-chairman of this institute, of the 13 governors, board of governors, another, another board of governor is also a former ISI chief. So this and this has so led why don't you take action members, against these or people? Pakistani nationals, top Pakistani. No, no, I want to know this is being built as a as a bilateral summit. So whose sanction has this? This cannot be a bilateral summit. Uh, there is no Mr. representation Rao. from the government Mr. Rao, or you, even from the ruling regime. Mr. And the Rao. real questions have to be answered by the Congress no, no, party. Mr. Mr. Rao, I How must know one second. They Mr. Have Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, one no, minute. No, I think you no, no, Mr. Rao, one, one minute. Individual. No, no, Mr. Rao, one the minute. Just a minute. Has to be just a minute. First of all, first of all, Mr. Rao, just a minute, please. First of all, that was not the question that was put to you. If you feel that all these 11, 12, no, 13 no, I think, people, and I, I don't know who question. they are, but I am told... Why are we ignoring no, no, the larger no, question? No, no, Mr. Mr. The Congress party is not in a position to raise questions. They need to give answers. Why is Mr. Manishan Karayar on I the will, board of governors? I will, I will take why that. has he led a delegation? Why is an ex-foreign minister a member of that delegation? Why does it comprise of Hate Modi Brigade? So you can, by no stretch of imagination, can any member of this group be representing the government or Mr. Modi? That is ridiculous proposition. So who, Anybody can who you tell me, no, that's not the that question. Conclusion. The question is, and you're not answering the question. The question is simple. He cannot answer the, the question. The question is, can you, right no, question. one minute, Mr. Please Mr. Please Mr. Mr. Right Rao, no, no, don't raise your voice. Please let's, raise the right let's, questions. Let's, let's, it's an open debate. Others are free, free to come in. No. Others are yeah, free I, to come I, in. I want to come in. I, my question was one. I don't, no, no, one second, Salman. My question was one. This government, Congress is raising this government, questions. one second, sir, on the floor of the Indian parliament, this government hides behind Ved Pratap's Vedic ridiculous I am a journalist line to say we can't get involved in what a journalist does. I am asking you on what basis have you accepted that claim? Which channel, which newspaper, which magazine, which media organization, under which accreditation can you tell me Ved Pratap Vedic was there as a journalist meeting Hafiz Said? And if you don't have that uh, uh, information, on what basis are you making that argument in parliament? Maruf Raza wants to come in am, and am, so does am, Salman Sos. The others are coming question. into the debate. Sa None Salman Sos first. Salman Sos first. Let me, let Salman Sos first. If Mr. Rao will let this others, is, others speak I, I, 
سلمان سوز کا مسٹر راؤ کام ڈاؤن سلمان سوز Mr. Rao has no answers. The BJP has no answers. This pseudo-nationalist party... No, please answer this the questions that I have raised. Larger questions. They're, they're neither nationalistic and they're indecisive. In two days' time, <laughs> they've come up with no clear answer on the question surrounding Mr. Vedic's visit to Pakistan. His visit to... Uh, his meeting... You have taken him there. Faith. Your they leadership no has real taken answers. him there. And please let me finish. I did not interrupt you. On January don't 5... Think, don't you think Kutura the board of stadium. governors which comprises two... Please, sir, you don't try and change the subject. The people of can, India, can let the people of like India this. listen. On ta in Tal Kutura Stadium, they will, they will he made a 12 minute speech, Mr. Speak. Vedic did. Please, Mr. Rao, please let me speak. Mr. Vedic made a 12 minute speech full of praise for Narendra Bhai Modi, who he called his mitra, his friend. And he proceeded to say how Mr. Modi would big to put together a mega sark, 16 countries, and Mr. Modi would be leading that mega sark. On April 25th, on Times Now, when Baba Ramdev talked about honeymoon of Dalit uh, girls, who represented Come Baba Ramdev? Digressing from the subject. This I this have raised Mr. the question, why and by the way, the BJP the was absent then in the debate. And I know, Arnab, you, you asked the question, where is the BJP? And I asked the question, where is the BJP when Mr. Vedic, who is clearly linked to the no, PMO... No, Mr. Mr. If you look at this, Mr. 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 International Mr. Salman Soz, Mr. Soz, my next question is, one second, gentlemen, my next question is simple. One second. My first question goes unanswered. My first question goes unanswered. Maruf comes into the debate. Yatin Oza, you are free to come in. But my first question goes unanswered. Do you know the name of the newspaper or channel or magazine that this man was interviewing Hafiz Saeed for? No. Arnab, it, no. Mr. Rao, one minute. Let the others matter. come in, Mr. Rao. It does not matter. Let the others come in. Of course it matters, Mr. It Rao. Matter. Please it do not interrupt now. Let the others come in. Let the others come into the debate as well. My next question is this, Maruf. If Vedic was claiming to be close to the Narendra Modi government and to Narendra Arnab. Modi in Pakistan, was he speaking the truth or misrepresenting? Yati Noza, you want to answer that? Was he speaking the truth or misrepresenting? That he is close to the Modi government, that he is close to Modi? I can't hear you, sir. There are, first of all, let me tell you, there are 1,000 people who claim closeness and proximity Arnab, can to I answer Modi. that? No, no. That doesn't that that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that Narendra Modi accepts that proximity or closeness. One. So anybody in this country nowadays has become a fashion that I am close to. Mr. No, so Mr. No, no, Mr. Oza, that's Modi. not a complete I'm answer. That for Mr. Modi. That's not one a minute, complete answer. You I, can't I, get I, away I by down. saying that. I don't want to. I don't want no, to. No, no, Mr. Oza, it's not a complete answer because no, Mr. Oza, understand the point. There are one two minute. arguments. No, I, he I, can. I, when I, he says, when I, he says I, on I, Pakistan TV channels, I will talk to Modi. One second, sir. For a change, I fall in line with you. For a change, I fall in line with you. That as a journalist, he must disclose for whom he had gone, or is he the owner of any of the media, print, electronic, or otherwise? But has he given I a name? Agree. Has he but given that, a name so but, far, Mr. Oza? That, one, one if he's not given a name, that, how does the BJP that, government use that cannot, excuse to get away? You cannot hold government or BJP responsible. Why not? One, he's going and meeting. I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Mr. Shahid, as a journalist, cannot be questioned. But his today's statement of giving self-determination to Kashmir. No, no, Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, one minute, Kumar Ketkar wanted to come in. Before that, I want to get Maruf Raza in. No, no, I am saying that he cannot be pardoned. He cannot be pardoned and he has to be dealt with. Sir, your government, your government has not dealt with him at all. Sir, your BJP government has not dealt with him at all. That the expressions are being made against the government and the Prime Minister, that's the only objectionable part. Sir, your government, your government. Otherwise, his conduct does Mr. require... Mr. Oza, his Maruf Raza now require, coming into the debate. I am, you know, more and more people are becoming suspicious that because Ved Pratap Vedic is some kind of guide, associate or Baba Ramdev, that's why Mr. he's Oza, being let off. Mr. Oza, please let others speak. Mr. Oza, please let others speak. Maruf from London. Maruf. Maruf, go ahead. Or not. Or not. Uh, I just want to make two quick points. The first is, 
I think the damage that Mr. Vedic has done to India's I think the damage that Mr. Vedic has done to India's position by suggesting to Hafiz Saeed and the world at large that India is trying to seek a kind of a compromise exit for him as against the hardline position that we've had since 26-11 is going to send a message to the international community, particularly the United States, which has tried to start it to turn the news on L.E.T. and Hafiz Saeed to think that there are elements in the Indian establishment who are open to a dialogue with Hafiz Saeed, which is clearly not the case. And the second damage that he's done to India's position is by suggesting that independence is a clearly acceptable option to New Delhi. Not only it's unacceptable to New Delhi because it goes outside the constitutional framework, but it's also not acceptable to the hardline establishment in Pakistan, which patronizes Hafiz Saeed and many others. So the question that really emerges is that under whose brief was Mr. Vedic working on such a large mandate, if at all? And is he in the correct state of mind to try, as Mr. Ozas brought out and others, to say that, yes, I will get your message across to the powers that be, and Mr. Oda is saying clearly that is not the case. If not, then how was the man so emboldened to make such a strong two policy statements which compromise no, no, India's absolutely. negotiating position with I, I, Pakistan? I think that is the that central is point of this whole debate. It is unpardonable. It, it cannot be taken, you one cannot take it lightly. And he has to Mr. be Mr. Rosa, it is not. No, no. What is what is law, what is what is what is unpardonable? The government or the prime what is minister unpardonable is not proper. and what the and, BJP and has done? Because neither sponsored nor told nor was said. So what is ministry. what is unpardonable? What is unpardonable is that the BJP did the maximum big talk on terror. But when it comes to walking the talk, yes, yes. you we have scampered away. Then, then how was he you saying have all scampered these away. Then how was he saying all these things? You have scampered away and you have let a man close to Baba Ramdev get away. I don't understand this. Just, just because he's close to Baba Ramdev. I want to make one point very clear. Sir, Mr. Rosa. I want to make one point very clear. Mr. Rosa. He has been to power not with the aid of anybody accepting name of Mr. Narendra Modi. Sir, sir, Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, that's irrelevant. I'm not interested in that. That's not the issue. Narendra Modi has not acted against him. Kumar Ketkar coming to the debate. In the given situation, Kumar Ketkar, my question is very simple. If tomorrow, if tomorrow, no, no, one second, one second. Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, let others come in, Mr. Rosa, one minute. Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, you can keep saying that. You see, you see, we believe in action, Mr. Rosa. You can keep saying dealt with ruthlessly. The fact is, your you government will, does not even have the courage to deal with today. this man with kid gloves. When, your when, government is so we scared of Baba Ramdev. When we were your government is so scared of Baba Ramdev, I don't know why. Maybe because the BJP is obliged to Baba Ramdev for the political support that Baba Ramdev gave it. Tomorrow, my question is, 257 people died. Mr. Rosa, listen to me. Nobody who has asked Mr. Rosa, Mr. Rosa, listen to me. Listen to me. And, and Madhukar Jaitley, General Jaswal, and Kumar Ketkal, feel free to come in. 257 people died. More than 700 others were injured. When Dawood Ibrahim carried out the 1993 Mumbai serial bombings. By this argument, General Jaswal, tomorrow a separatist can go and meet Dawood Ibrahim. Or for that matter, this man called Ved Pratap Vedic can go and have a meeting with him. Ask him how many wives he has, what he will do if Narendra Modi comes to Pakistan and talk such rubbish and come back and say, I was just having a meeting with him as a journalist. So tomorrow, by the logic, this government will even allow meetings with Dawood Ibrahim if people say we are doing it on our individual capacity. Madhukar Chetli wanted to come in. Kumar Ketkar. Yes, Kumar Ketkar. Can I, can Kumar I Ketkar, in? please. Actually, Arnab, it is a very simple point. Arnab, it's a very simple point. Any press conference, people are asked, who do you represent? Yes. Did Vedic clear himself as representing whom as a journalist? We don't BJP know. Has accepted him as a journalist? Yes. In fact, the statements made in the parliament today said that it was a misadventure of a journalist. Now, journalist from whom, for which channel, for which newspaper is not made clear. Point number two. 
is that it is easier to meet, I have gone to Pakistan four times, it is easier to meet Prime Minister, to President. It is not so easy to meet people like Hafiz Saeed or Daud Ibrahim without the clearance from ISI, without the clearance of political establishment, without the clearance and support or facilitation from the Indian High Commission, it is not possible and therefore the charges that the government was having. I agree, no. I agree. And, and third point. No, if you agree, point, what have you done? Mr. Rav is asking. If you agree, what have you done? ISI is rubbing shoulders. If you agree, what have you done? ISI is on the same board. Mr. ISI is on Mr. the same board. One minute, board let him speak. Kumar Ketkar. Kumar Ketkar, continue. Is, Arnab, Arnab, Mr. Rav is saying that there, were, there are about 13 people there, but those 13 people have not called themselves journalists and they have not met Hafiz Saeed. Only one of the so called 13 man committee, it has not come out yet. Delegation it has not has come met out. Hafiz Saeed. We if, don't know. If we if don't know. One minute. If Mani Shankar Ayer or anybody had met Afi Said by now, it should have been clear. No, why? So it is How obvious, can it be clear? It is uh, obvious no. that delegation was used for Mr. Vedic for Mr. Vedic to get him out of the delegation and meet Hafiz Said. He was definite and he has used and the word by the way, in your interview yesterday as intermediary. By no, the way, he was he taken was, no, to no, 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 Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Rao, Pumar just Pumar a minute. He now was, let, let him complete. He was intermediary Mr. of Mr. whom? Mr. Rao. No, let me, let me he raise was questions. was intermediary of whom? And Who? one more point, the interview was actually for... for Fortnight ago, why it was kept secret? For Sir, fortnight. my question it is very simple. You see, Narendra you Modi, see, this government. Has left the no, 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 one my minute, just a minute, just a minute, please, just a minute. No, no, Mr. 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 Rao, Mr. Rao, allow, take a question, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, don't behave like Wait, Please take a question. Take a question, take a question Mr. No, no, Mr. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, just a minute. The same board as Manishankar Ayer. You are not on his shoulders. No, I'm sorry. His shoulders. Congress party has. No, no, what? No, 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 no. One, one minute, one minute, Mr. 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 Narasimha Rao, Mr. Narasimha Rao, listen to me. Without the facilitation from High Commission the government, it was impossible for you have you have the ISI meet Hafiz Said and conduct one hour or seventy minute interview and pretend as if he was a working journalist. Okay, okay, one minute. Can I come in? Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, please now, please now, both of you, both of you, listen. To me, listen to me just a minute. Just and a minute, Pakistan Mr. Rao. Listen Army to me, and XISI, ISI. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rao, Arnab. Mr. Rao, one minute, Madhukar Jaitli. Yes, Madhukar Jaitli. No, why are you overlooking? Facts one minute, Mr. Rao, Rao. Let the others know. come in, Mr. Mr. Rao. You are in a soup today. Tonight. You are overlooking. Your government is facts. your government is in a soup of its own making, and nobody is going to let you off. On this one, you are the ones who have been lecturing no, the whole okay. world on terrorism. You go and Arnav, allow this. Arnav. You expect us to remain quiet. You say this man is a journalist. Name Has the name the newspaper he was representing or the channel he was I, representing. You would never have I, I done this if Congress you were in the opposition. Has to explain. It is the Congress. Madhukar Jaitley. I want to ask you. Madhukar Jaitley is asking you a question. Board of Governors. Madhukar Jaitley is asking a question. I want to ask the members of this. Let's put them on. I want to ask the BJP. I want to ask the BJP that whether he was a journalist first or an Indian first. He was not representing the the country as a journalist. He was representing India, and if he was an Indian, he had no no business to go and interview a person who has been held guilty not only by India, by the United Nations, by the United Kingdom, by the United States, by the European Union, by the Russians and by the Australians. He has been declared as a banned organization. His organization has been declared as a banned organization. And whether Mr. Vedic, who went there to interview him, whether the BJP is trying to protect him as a journalist, was a journalist first or an Indian first? The, the kind Mr. of attack that he no. did against the Aha, one minute. Indians in Mumbai. Mr. Rao, let him complete. Before that, no. before that no. Mr. Rao, let him, let, me. let Mr. Jaitley complete. That, so before, that, so that, before that, before that, before that, before that, before that, before that, no, no, let me complete. Mr. Arnab, let me complete. Before that, not only in 2008, this man was arrested in Pakistan by the government of Punjab in Pakistan for the July 2006 Mumbai bombings and he was released on a Pakistan Lahore court order. He was later on arrested the day he was released. He was subsequently arrested by the <coughs> Pakistani government and then he was released again, again by the Lahore court. So today he is on release and he is under the custody of living under the custody of the Pakistani police. Therefore, my question to you is whether the BJP is trying to protect a, a, a guy they are who going is to protect him. the government of India.
and uh, whether no, he was no, a I journalist was or, or an Indian I'm questioning. He, he I, was I not think representing. Also he was not representing. He was not representing the government of Fiji. He was not representing the government of Cook Island. He was representing Mr. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, Mr. Narasimha Rao. I would like to remind you, Mr. Narasimha Rao. Please listen to me. Listen, no, Mr. Narasimha Rao. Listen to me. Listen. No, no. One second. Please listen to me and please calm down and listen to me. One, one at a time. The question is, the kind of shame, the kind of shame this man has brought. I think, I think whatever, I, I think whatever inquiry is held, it has to cover the Congress leaders also who are on Congress this delegation. He has no, made each and every citizen insulted today. He has insulted each and every citizen of the country. I think, one second, can I just come into this? One second, can I, I want to say something to the viewers at this point. I want to say this to the viewers. Mr. Rao, one minute, please. I just want to say, speak to the news, our viewers. They are watching tonight. I want to say something to them, directly to them, please. I am putting some questions on air tonight. And I suspect, at this stage of the debate, Mr. Rao, I strongly suspect that what you are trying to do... Gentlemen, listen to me for a minute. Mr. Ketkar and Mr. Rao, listen to me for a minute. I'm asking the viewers a question. You're watching the news, our debate tonight. Do you have a feeling that what Mr. Narasimha Rao, the BJP, is trying to do because he realizes he has no answers to my simple question, can his government tell me the name of the paper, channel or magazine, which this man was doing a so-called interview for? Because he has no answers to my question, he wants to make this into a standard BJP Congress debate. I am asking, I am asking the news our viewer tonight. Should we allow this to become a standard BJP Congress debate? I am absolutely sure, Mr. Rao, and you must listen to me this. Please do not insult my profession. Do not insult the profession of journalism. I am saying tonight to you, Mr. Mr. Narasimha Rao, we do not insult the business of journalism. There is a difference between an interview and a meeting. Apply your mind. Will the United States government tomorrow simply stay quiet if a member of a pro-democratic think tank or a lobby group that supports the Democratic Party, which is in power in Washington, goes to Afghanistan and has tea with the reigning leader of the Al-Qaeda out there or goes to Iraq? and has, a, has tea with the Ayman al-Zawari hoping to change his mind and extending an invitation to the United States to have dinner with Barack Obama. I am so shocked today. Here is a man who is going to Pakistan, can I, can I, flaunting can... his links with the Indian Prime Minister. If Vedic was claiming to be close to the Modi government and Modi in Pakistan, was he speaking the truth or misrepresenting? If he was misrepresenting, as you are saying today, why is your government not taking action against him now? You have to take action in this case. General Jaswal wants to come back to the debate. General Jaswal. I, I, can I? And, and, and I one think, more thing. Uh, no, no, and, 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 and one more thing. Uh, and, and one more thing that I wish to say to Mr. Rao, if you please listen to me. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, I want to say one more thing. I want to say one more thing, Mr. Rao. I would like to remind you that there was at least one legitimate, very well-known journalist in that group but she was not interviewing Hafiz Saeed. No. Some, some unknown entity called Vedic is doing an interview? You call this journalism? Adam, I want don't don't yeah, insult yeah. my Adam, profession, Adam, Mr. Rao. Do not do that. Adam, do not do that, Mr. Question. Rao. Adam, I, I will not take it uh, lying Adam, down. Can I now get General Jaswal is opening up the debate. General speak. Jaswal. Yeah. How does the General uh, Jaswal. Gentlemen, uh, Mr. General Rao, Jaswal I, I, is speaking, I request please. you, gentlemen. Former Northern Area Commander please. General Jaswal is Other, speaking, please. Let it, Others also have interviewed. Let, let uh, this not become General an exercise Jaswal. to clear our vocal cords. Please do kindly give time to others. First of all, we are trying to connect the dots and come to an extrapolation without knowing the facts. We're just conjecturing. Secondly, we are adding a political you know, flavor to it. Here is an individual who has violated the Constitution Act 191A, read in conjunction with 51A. Now, 191A says freedom of speech and expression. But this is not absolute. This is with certain restrictions. There are eight restrictions in it. Now, when you read the, the restriction, one of them is, it is 
not to embarrass the sovereignty and integrity of the country, which has been done by this gentleman. 51A, there are 11 fundamental duties of every citizen of India, and that includes that we are supposed to uphold the sovereignty and integrity of our country again. This gentleman has violated that. Let the government has made a statement on the floor of the house that they have nothing to do with it. I am sure they will get a reply. The dots will be connected. All the queries that we have in our mind will be projected once a cogent query paper is prepared and answers are there. Let's not give political flavor to it that the Congress is to be blamed or RS is to be blamed or Ram Devji is to be blamed. Well, Sorry, this man is to be blamed. Precisely. And if in case someone is no, helping no, no. to go I, I there, I want to come in it here. will come out. Yes, yes, Salman. Adam, I have, I have one question for you, and I have a couple of quick comments. The Congress, one My question the Congress to you, Arnab, this man has let Salman speak now. By, you know, can, uh, let me. Indian high, or maybe Indian Congress high Congress shouting. Pakistan, you know, they, they just have nothing to say. They just want to shout. Let Salman please speak, listen. please. Please participate in the deba debate. Let me just ask Arnab a question, and then I have two quick points to make. One, Arnab, is the question to you directly. If you were in this position, and you had actually gone and met, ha met Hafiz Said, and say you said you were a journalist, and then you said all the things that you said in that TV interview and everywhere else. What would the BJP be doing to you? They would have gone after you and you would already be in jail, I think. Second, there are links... No, 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 I must Mr. respond Reilly. to that. I must respond to that. I must respond to that. First okay. of all, First of all, I would not give the slightest amount of legitimacy to a terrorist like Hafiz Said A. B, this interview everyone knows is not clinical. It gives Hafiz Said a platform to express his views. First of all, I don't believe it's an interview. It's some meandering discussion that involves, among other things, Hafiz Said's wives. He has not grilled a terrorist with hard questions on 2611. He has given him a platform that in turn gives Hafiz Said more legitimacy. If this was a journalistic exercise, what were the counter questions asked to Hafiz Said when he self righteously protested there, his there innocence? No what in kind fact, of journalist? Know, the, what kind of journalist asks India's most wanted me, terrorist how many wives he has? What kind of journalist asks India's I, most wanted terrorist to ask for forgiveness? I am surprised, no, 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 Maruf. No, no, one second. I am. Maruf has been a journalist as well. I haven't finished. No, 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 one second. Salman, I'll come to you. I'm just following up on what you say. I'm going to come back to you. Maruf, what I find very surprising here is that this government, this government has bought Ved Pratap Vedic's ridiculous explanation. The Narendra Modi government has bought his explanation and is using his explanation to defend its own inaction, Maruf. That's what worries me. Maruf. No, we, we, Maruf. What he no, let Maruf come in. Maruf. Bad journalism. Sir, this is not any journalism. So, so, this is I not journalism. Just, uh, you are calling it journalism Arnab, because you are scared to act I, against I, Baba Ramdev. No, no, it is not. Is not don't insult my profession. Don't insult my profession. He is not somebody. Maruf, do not insult my profession. Take it from me. Do not insult my profession. Maruf. Maruf. Let Maruf speak. Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, please, Mr. Rao, please listen to others. Mr. Rao, please listen. Ornab, um, I'll, I'll remind the of viewers, and, I'll, and you'll remember very clearly, when Arundhati Roy, the novelist, had made certain remarks which went against the nature and the basic position of the country, and as articulated by General Jaswal of the con about the Constitution, she was charged with sedition. Why is it taking 48 hours? For this government to come clear on whether yes. this man has taken a position which is seditious so, or not, this is clearly in contravention Salman of the constitution. Maruf. This is clearly a challenge to our officially stated position. And most importantly, this is an embarrassment to our country. Yes. This is an embarrassment to those who have laid I down their lives to the country. Yes. That you have gone and negotiated with a man who is a mass murderer. And is this government so adamant? on finding fault with Vedi, why don't they also put a penalty and, and put a bounty on the head of Hafiz Said? If they want to be different from the UPA government, what stops them from putting a bounty on Hafiz Said 
and saying very clearly Arnab, that they want to come out minute, sir. against Hafiz Saeed let and against the likes of Vedic who are trying to negotiate. Is this can, some can kind we, of track we, three, we, track four, track five? That's no, right. Diplomatic no, 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 no. initiative. Absolutely, Maru. But I want to ask you a counter question on this one. I, I, I have a question no, for Maru. Kind of General Jaswal, please. One second, gentlemen. Let me direct this. Salman, I'm going to come back to you. No, no. Anyone who knows if Pakistan, Pakistan amenable to no, no. arrangement, it is an embarrassment. Please permit me to say. This is an embarrassment. Yati Noza. To an end. Yati Noza. What I want to say. Okay, Mr. Noza. No, no, Salman. After Mr. Noza. Prime Minister is wrong. Nobody defends what he has done is right. What now action have you taken? On your own what channel. action has the Narendra Modi when government Dr. taken? Somebody has issue came. I said wait for 20 hours. Madhukar Jaitli. Prosecution was launched. No, 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 watch it, watch it. Madhukar Jaitli is responding. I want to clarify. No, no, Mr. Rao, one minute. Let me, let me direct it now. I am allowing at this stage. Indian High Commissioner. I am allowing at this stage Madhukar Jaitli to respond first because he hasn't spoken very often. He will be dealt with sternly. And if need be, even charge of sedition would be placed. Sir, when? Oh, sir, rhetoric. when? This when will your government deal with him sternly? This rhetoric. But, but this is we not are waiting for the report Vedic. of the High Commissioner from Pakistan. Just come to this point. Indian High Commissioner Arnab, in Pakistan is to send the report this, by this tomorrow. This man is linked to the PMO. This man is linked to the PMO. I want to ask the BJP and the government. I want to ask is the government. Did the, did the Indian High Commission in Islamabad know about this meeting? Did Mr. Vedic was he uh, was he at, at the High Commission at any point? Did they have any reception for him? What is going on with this government? This government is supposed to be decisive. They're so indecisive. They talk about nationalism. They call us anti-national. These shameless people. They have no answers today. No answers today. Come they on, just my, shout. My That's all we can do. Man. We can call Why your are we giving political names? flavor Find to the whole words? thing? It's a, I think I can call you. It's names. an act of an what individual did the BJP do? Question. To what did the BJP do? Some dignity. What did they do when they were in this Arnab, position? If High Commission maintain some dignity, again a political I flavor. Hypocritical I can party. accuse that your party, party leaders were involved in Double fixing face. this interview. Arnab, I can accuse you. You, you, you have Arnab, no leaders answers. Who are you cannot answer to the people of India today. Members of this institute. Yes, zero answers. I think this is the larger question that needs to be put. Highest officials in your government. If Kumar Ketkar, no, no, Maru this government, right. this government, Kumar Ketkar, in institutionalized, uh, institutionalized Kumar, diplomacy. Kumar Ketkar, this please. government does not believe in any track three or track four. Arna, Maru is absolutely right. If High Commission does not know or did not know that itself is inefficiency on part of the government and High Commission. Yes. So why should not we try High Commission itself? That why you did not know that so-called journalist is meeting Hafiz Said whom it is extremely difficult, almost impossible to meet for any journalist. Which it takes me to, to my next question. And yet this, this journalist gets out of the gets out of the so-called delegation. No, 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 no. And what? meets Hafiz Said. Which takes and High which, Commission doesn't know. No, no, High Commission me, doesn't me, know. Me, High me, Commission me, says we are not we, 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 without we, the without the participation and facilitation of High Commission Kumar Ketkar. and ISI and political establishment back home. It is not Kumar possible. Ketkar. I believe I believe Kumar Maruf Kumar and General Kumar Jaswal know the ISI quite well. Kumar my question to Maruf and General Jaswal. First to Maruf is this. Maruf, do you think, <coughs> do you think that Hafiz Saeed, who is nothing but a paid lackey of the ISI and the Pakistani military establishment, would have met any Indian without the approval and the involvement of the ISI? Do you think it's possible? No do you think it's possible? General no, Jaswal. He is living under the police. No way, Under no the way. Of the you say, General Jaswal, General Jaswal, Maru, before you, General Jaswal. Uh, let, me, let me give uh, you a simple logical answer. Let me give you a simple logical answer. A simple answer, a simple logical answer. Ornab, Ornab, simple logical answer. Hafiz Saeed has a bounty on his head. The Americans want his scalp. The rest of the others Absolutely. might be looking to get him also. He is clearly protected by the ISI, otherwise he would have been handed over to the Americans Absolutely. by now. They know also he is being Absolutely. targeted by India. God knows how many people are after him. He is well protected. There is no way that even a bloody mouse can go next to well Hafiz said, Saeed Maru. without the approval of the ISI. And we are talking of this man who is going Absolutely. trumpeting right. that so, he is the so, greatest so, journalist so, 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 at large you know, since independence. Mr. Rao, he is the greatest there, he's, journalist at large can I, can since I, can I, Mr. Rao, General, Jasw General Jaswal is also team. adding in. Is this, are we testing the waters? You know, uh, no, no, are we I testing think, the waters discreetly? I, and this is my great uh, worry, are we testing the waters? 
With what kind of people? Uh, well, General Jaswal. General Jaswal. What Maru General has Jaswal. said is absolutely right. Is Can I speak, gentlemen? Please. What Maruf has just put across, I think he summed it up beautifully well. He is under the umbrella, a tight umbrella, I'll call, of the ISI. Not even a fly can go and sit on, sit on him without the approval of uh, the ISI. This entire game plan needs to be inquired as to what role the ISI has played. How come they made him what they call slip away from the embassy of ours, the high commission over there, without they knowing about it? What are the game played? General Jaswal alone will be able to answer. No, no, General Jaswal. No one else will be able to answer. No, no, General Jaswal. Yes. General Jaswal, the simple question is, and, and, and Mr. Mr. Rao, just one minute. If you have such a problem, and please let me complete my comment. If you have such a problem with all these people who went for some, what you call an ISI funded, ISI sponsored, some regional peace institute. I know these junkets keep happening. Then, do you know, go and do something about it. You can investigate all those people who went there, but that's another matter. I don't want to get into it. My question is simply this. It has emerged from the debate tonight. Mr. Jaitley, I want your attention as well. That the ISI has organized a meeting with the killer of 2611. With yes, a man absolutely. close to Baba Ramdev, who is one of the greatest canvasier, you know, uh, uh, supporters of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So, no, no, one minute. So, no, no, sir, let me complete. I will repeat it again, even if you're embarrassed about it. The, a man who supports the Bharatiya Janata Party, his aide, his aide has a meeting organized by the ISI with the killer of 2611. This government, Madhukar Jaitley, stands on the floor of parliament and says he was doing it as a journalist. And this government has no idea what kind of journalism this was about. In fact, I think no, all those people who are playing the journalism line are either foolish, misplaced, ill-informed or deliberately trying to fool themselves. No self-respecting journalist will buy that line. So this, therefore, Mr. Jaitley, is a very I, I, I serious know. charge. It's a very Arnav, serious charge like Arnav, and the inaction this is glaring. Arnav, Mr. Jaitley. Arnav, this man is, is a loose cannon irrespective of his connections. Yes. He is gone. Uh, Arnav, he is, uh, sorry, Arnav, this man is a loose cannon. He is gone irrespective of his connections. He is gone over there. He has been influenced by the ISI. And he has gone and met that gentleman and made such maverick statements. And the government is defending him. Sedition. And the government, uh, wonder, by, no, no, but General Jaswal, because I won't comment on it. General General Jaswal, sure. General Jaswal, when the government, yes. no, no, General Jaswal, when the government stands and say we accept his line that he is a journalist, then in a way the government is building his defence. I don't understand yes. why no, this, no, how, how, Mr. Jaitley, the government, point, the government is to answer now, Mr. Jaitley. Point taken. Mr. Jaitley. Mr. Jaitley. Mr. Jaitley. <coughs> absolutely. You see, Arnav. This is a similar case like in 1999 when the Kandhar uh, plane, plane uh, hijack in, in, the Pan, in the Kandhar plane, plane hijack IC-814, the principal negotiator of the exchange of the terrorist Masood Azhar was later on awarded and made the, who has now been made as the national security advisor of the government of Mr. Narendra Modi. So, it is the similar way that the BJP is trying to protect Mr. Vaiprabhupada oh, Vaidik and saying that, you know, he's, he's, a, he, he's a journalist. There is, Don't there, make such Arnab, Arnab, this comments. is not just about, Arnab, this is not I, just I about Mr. Vaidik. I wish you know about Mr. Dover. He, he, he was simply, about the he was highly, meeting. highly he was all professional party person. What? All party meeting had decided. As an officer of the government. No, no, Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, please tell me why you are, why you, on what basis? Simple question, we have five minutes left on the debate at this stage. I invite Mr. Narasimha Rao and Mr. Yatin Oza. You are on record, this is a live program, gentlemen. Give me one reason why you accept Ved Pratap Vedic's line that he was a journalist doing an interview. Just give me one logical reason, one logical reason why you accept Ved Pratap Vedic's Ridiculous argument that he was a journalist doing an interview. Mr. This Rao, please only, tell me. This is only... No, come on. This Arna, is only no, a that, that Vedic was a journalist and he's a journalist. A, a, a journalist doesn't 
and they also to be a on the floor of the house life. it has been no, 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 not this is an important that issue that needs to be found out. Cover, and the government is already on the job. Your government. And we'll find out the truth. I, and we'll take appropriate action. Mr. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao, one After second. The reports are received from sir, sir, you're orders, both looking extremely weak, if I may say so. Sir, Mr. Mr. Rosa, no, 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 I, I, I Mr. Rosa, you are both you looking extremely weak. Your arguments today are not. The argument is very simple, Mr. Today. The argument is very simple. My government, my government has stood in the floor of Parliament and said we don't know anything about what is going on the man is going there as a journalist we condemn it government. i am saying tonight it is not I journalism it's mr ketkar government. mr ketkar which means arnab which means arnab which means arnab that pakistan government and the india government are on the same page because pakistan government also considers him a journalist and organizes his meeting with afis said and indian government defends in parliament that he is a journalist because that the clearly Congress means leaders. that the pakistan government and isi and the modi government and everything is released only after modi leaves for brazil I think so for there God is definitely sake. a game plan and the game plan was perhaps track Are 3 to find out how would be the atmosphere i, I and think the congress is, uh, needs to come clean, clean on this vedic Asked, how would you receive? How would you receive Mr. Modi if he visits uh, Pakistan? No, how we can, can't stop. You can talk Vedic, anything. Mr. Vedic, Vedic, who is not, I mean, an, like we are not an active journalist. Any journalist Vedic can go Vedic and boast. on behalf of government or Modi. Arnab, he is a loose is cannon. Asking, he is keeping, he how keeps would making receive? statements. No, how would Arnab, you receive? Arnab, Arnab, it's not about him being a loose it cannon. Not I'm just sorry. Loose this cannon. is not about him being a loose cannon. This is a question asked today. Let me say this is a record. How can he come up? One minute, gentlemen. General Jaswal. Four minutes to the debate. General Jaswal. Yes, please. General Jaswal. General Jaswal. Today, I, I, General yes, Jaswal, Mr. Rao, gentlemen. you have no answer tonight to a very simple question. Gentlemen, How do you accept he's a journalist? A General Jaswal. I, I, I would say, I think his. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Mr. Rao, one minute. Now, what I'm saying Mr. is, Mr. Rao, minute, cannon, please. He's made statements and Mr. Rao, minute, please. On Kashmir. He Mr. Rao, a minute, please. He does not need any other individual. Mr. Rao, a minute, please. Mr. Rao, we would not have okay. the kind of people who are members of this Mr. Rao, to go and speak Mr. For the Mr. Rao, you see, I'll, I'll list, repeat, I'll repeat my know. point to you, and I'll repeat it once I more. Please don't speak over selected. me, Mr. Rao. You will know if you look Mr. at Mr. Rao. Don't speak I over me. I just am lines. making one point. No, one second, one second. Just, Mr. General Jaswal, before you come in, I ask a very simple question. This government is trying to somehow get away by saying the man is doing this as a journalist. This government has not the slightest ounce of information on the basis of which it can prove that this was journalism. Which means the government is trying to build a defense for Mr. Ved Pratap Vedic, a person close to Baba Ramdev, who the ISI has organized a meeting with the 2611 killer for. My question is, if the government decides to do nothing, will it affect the credibility of the Narendra Modi government less than two months after it was sworn in? You destroy your entire argument of being tough on terror and people are watching Mr. Rao. No kind of weak technical defense will make you get away. If you lack the courage to act against Ved Pratap Vedic because he's Baba Ramdev's associate and you are obliged to Baba Ramdev in any way that you can't act against his associate because he supported you during the elections, you can say so to the people of this country. You can say today that you will allow any associate of any spiritual guru to have a meeting with the killers of 2611. That tomorrow even if Dawood Ibrahim has a meeting with Ved Pratap Vedic, you will say that that was also because there was some kind of journalism involved here. General Jaswal. General Jaswal. General Jaswal. Yes. I was making a mention that is a loose cannon because his statements which have been made on Kashmir I think are totally maverick statements. There's no logic and they're seditious in nature. Who authorized them? You mean to say the government authorized them? No way. No way. Who authorized him? He himself. He became Khud Bakhtiar. He decided to put across a template for division of Kashmir or for the independence of Kashmir and in the very next statement he says, no, 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 I don't want Kashmir to be a separate state. But the entire model that he put across was nothing short of a separate state. Now what is that? 
he went totally ballistic over there in his interview what did we and for that matter he is trying to ask hafiz said who the hell is he to ask hafiz said that if our prime minister comes over there uh, will he protest that what a shame what a crying so shame i think he is totally a loose cannon what is what is a what is an even more crying shame and i'll wrap up with that tonight and i think the bjp must think and about I'm what it is doing uh, one second i'll come to you salman i know you've been waiting the point is this that tomorrow you know the precedent that you are setting is this tomorrow if you know a pro pakistan anti india person like yasin malik if he goes to pakistan advocates independence for kashmir which he does has talks with daud ibrahim and hafiz said your government has set a precedent whereby you can do nothing because yasin malik can turn around and say look here the bjp supporters assistants like ved pratap vedik are allowed to get away doing this and insulting the country what right do you have to ask me any question and if yasin all that yasin Absolutely. malik has to do is say that i am doing it as some form of journalism you don't need to be an active journalist anyway you can just claim it some form of journalism you don't need to represent any paper channel and i dare say the foreign minister of india sushma swaraj will stand on the floor of parliament try to distance her government from this whole issue and in a way build a case for the person who has let down his own country salman so i'm closing because you've been waiting 20 seconds un unpatriotic journalist your 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 channel and many media outlets have talked about this gentleman association with with highest officials in the pmo and then not just baba ramdev who said that he he probably went to change uh, half his said's heart this, then this, this is gentleman your, your was received at the this high commission in islamabad you have been there lying got to be something going the on congress party this, has been this, lying. this man belongs to a He's think tank which had all sorts of security kind of advice for who knows RSS. what kind of people the congress party is caught what lying what is going on the bjp the government must come clean they should be transparent If they're starting some track two diplomacy, they should come to come clean. The pictures on your screen. I'll wrap with it once again tonight. Of the meeting between Hafiz Saeed and Ved Pratap Vedic, points to be noted is one: Ved Pratap Vedic is not an active journalist. Point number two: Ved Pratap Vedic has not been able to tell us the name of the channel or newspaper who he was carrying out the interview for. Three, the government has strangely bought Ved Pratap Vedic's line that he was a journalist and expects us to believe that it is not going soft on him because of his connections with Baba Ramdev. Do you buy that line? And do you believe this government has any stand any more on being tough on terror if it lets Ved Pratap Vedic off the hook? Thank you for joining me on debate number one, gentlemen, on the news hour tonight.